733 this morning we follow what may be the final chapter in gruesome slayings of a woman from Virginia Beach and her family. Convicted killer Ricky Gray is scheduled to be put to death today for four murders a decade ago in Richmond. Governor Terry McAuliffe says he will not spare his life, adding that Gray had a fair and impartial trial. Rico Bush joins us from our newsroom to break down this case. And Rico, Gray's attorney is making a last-ditch effort to stop this execution. Yeah, Lex, Katie, that's absolutely right. The attorneys for the death row inmate has filed this emergency appeal right here with the U.S. Supreme Court asking them to delay his execution. His lawyers say they want to challenge the state's plans to use a certain drug which they say risks chemically torturing him. At this time, it's unclear if the Supreme Court will step in at all today. A federal court in Richmond and the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals have both rejected his request to delay his execution. A jury found Gray guilty of killing Brian Harvey, Catherine Harvey, who grew up in Virginia Beach and their two young children in 2006. And we want to warn you, these details about their murders may be disturbing to you. Police found the family of four in their burning home on New Year's Day bound, beaten, and stabbed with their throats cut. Gray is also linked to the deaths of four other people in Richmond less than a week later, but he was never tried in that case. He is scheduled to die by lethal injection at 9 this evening at the Green Correctional Center. Gray's lawyers argue he should have been given leniency during that sentencing phase of his trial. They say his actions for the gruesome killings can be traced back to sexual abuse from his childhood. And I'll have that part of the story in just 30 minutes. For now, I'm live in the newsroom. Rico Bush, 10 on your side.